For our scripture today, we are looking at Psalm 139, verses 1 through 6. In it, we find David, considering how God knows us so well, and we have so much to learn about God. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down. You are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain it. Getting to know God, getting to understand God, it can be a very tall order, literally. As David says, such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain it. After all, God is invisible. God is the immortal, invisible force behind all life. God is a mystery to us. If we wish to see God, if we wish to know God, we need to look with more than the human eye. Jesus himself gave us a good idea of how to find God. Jesus talked about God as the Holy Spirit in John's Gospel, chapter 3, verse 8. The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Jesus talks about how the wind cannot be seen, but we can hear it. We can also see it move tree branches. It pushes leaves along the ground. God's spirit comes from the Greek word for breath, pneuma, as in pneumatic tires. We can get to know God when the wind of the spirit speaks to us, sometimes with a rush, sometimes as the still small voice. When I think of the wind of the Holy Spirit, I think of the trees by our churches. I think of the windbreak at Rosedale and all the birds that live there. I think of the trees at Donovan. I have three trees that are my favorite, and I'm going to take a moment to bring them up so you can see what I mean. There they are. I call them the three sisters, these three trees. And so they raise or they rise high up into the sky, making us think of God's high thoughts. And then I'm just fascinated at the base, especially this one in the middle, how it formed a kind of extra combination of, of trinities as it seemed to branch out in threesomes. And it's, I've just admired these trees so much since being appointed to this parish. I wanted to share those trees with you because, again, I think about how the wind of the Holy Spirit uh, moves through the trees and it moves through us. And I think about once upon a time, there were Christians from Rosedale and Donovan who planted trees for the next generation to enjoy. The wind of the Spirit moved among the congregation before the wind moved through the trees. In getting to know God, I think about the story we had in the Upper Room Study Book this week. It is the story of Thomas J. Doubt. That is literally the gentleman's name, Thomas J. Doubt. But he is not a doubting Thomas. Mr. Doubt talked about going on a mission trip to help clean up after Hurricane Harvey. As he was working through some mud, an object caught his eye. He stopped to pick the object, object out of the mud. He rubbed it and worked the dirt off of it. It turned out to be a dime, a United States dime. It was pretty beat up with scratches and lines on it, but it still knew how to shine. It was still a shiny dime, not a shiny new dime, but it was still a dime. Mr. Doubt did some thinking about that dime. He figured that dime is a lot like us. Over the years, we pick up scratches and scuffs. We get some lines on us. 
but God still sees the shine in us. Just like Mr. Doubt picked up his dime because of its shine, God still chooses us because of the shine God sees. Mr. Doubt thought about his life. He thought about the rough edges he had picked up over the years. Still, God saw the shine in him and kept working with Thomas J. Doubt. The upper room said to go to the back cover to see Mr. Doubt's picture. On the back of it, it says Mr. Doubt is a Vietnam veteran and a 33-year veteran of mission trips. As a Vietnam veteran, he has been through a lot. He has picked up his share of scrapes and scratches. Yet he came home and chose to give back to others. He chose to go on mission trips to help others get their shine back after hurricanes, tornadoes, and floods. Mr. Doubt's story makes me think about how we often go looking for the invisible God in our brains. We try to reason out God. We try to figure out God by some kind of logical brain thing. We get so busy looking for God in some kind of intellectual way that we forget how to look in the spiritual way. <clears throat> if we just look for God in our mind, we can miss seeing God's impact in our lives. At one time, people were trying to figure out which part of the human body contained the soul. Was it the heart, the mind, the spleen, the appendix? Every so often, we need to be reminded that, that the entire body is the organ that contains the soul. In the same way, we tend to look for God in just one place. We tend to look only in heaven. We tend to look only in church. We tend to look for God only in one book. Just like we look for the soul in the human body, we need to look for God in the whole universe. God is not part by just one star. God is in all the stars and in all the earth and in all the people. And then there is the mud problem. Sometimes life hits us with hurricanes and disasters. Sometimes we feel really bogged down. We have a hard time keeping the shine in our lives. It gets hard to let out the light of Christ. Mr. Doubt had figured out something pretty important. Just as he had picked up that dime and worked to bring out the shine, in the same way God wants to pick us up and bring out the shine in us, God wants to warm up our soul. God wants to see the Spirit go to work in us and bring out the shine. God wants us to see Jesus and realize how we can shine like him. God wants to find the soul inside of us. God wants us to find this little light of mine and let it shine. God wants us to see the God that is already inside of us. God wants us to find the Christ within. We simply do not have to look that far. Amen. Let us continue in prayer.